Yo, what up? So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can create video ads step by step in the simplest possible way. So whether you need to make video ads for your e-commerce business, for your social media marketing agency, maybe you need to make some client videos. Who knows? It doesn't matter. I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to share with you the simplest way to get this done. Video ads are extremely popular. And if this is your first time even hearing about that, then, you know, you're in luck because it's probably going to change the direction of your business. I've had video ads go from literally zero to generating thousands of dollars per day for some of my businesses. So I understand the power of them firsthand. And the great thing is that we actually have amazing resources nowadays. So you don't need to know how to edit videos on Adobe Premiere or any expensive software like that. I'm actually going to be using one of the easiest, most user friendly and affordable softwares out there for video editing, which is called InVideo. But the first step here, let's not waste any time, is first of all, to get some inspiration. So chances are, if you've never actually made a video ad or if you haven't made a lot of video ads, you don't really know what makes a good ad. So what we're gonna do first is actually get a ton of inspiration. So we'll do this together, but I recommend that you know you spend at least 30 minutes to an hour even just watching video ads, trying to dissect why these things work, and then of course applying them. So it's no secret that TikTok videos are king when it comes to video ads. In fact, any sort of TikTok that you make can do really, really well across all social media platforms and across other ad platforms like Facebook and Instagram ads. However, it's not the same with Facebook ads. If you have a really good Facebook ad, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to do well on TikTok. So the first step here is to go on Google, type TikTok Creative Center and go to the first link here and it'll take you to a free resource that TikTok enabled for creators to find inspiration. So then you go here to inspiration and you go to top ads and they literally show you the top ads on TikTok. It's kind of a hack. A lot of people don't know about this and it's completely free. So then what we want to do here is go to conversions and we'll dissect some of these conversion ads. The reason why you want to do conversions is because chances are you want to get sales from your ads. So these are all ads that are optimizing for getting sales. That's what conversions means. So let's take a look at this ad right here. So I'm going to play with the sound off me checking out therapy because I might struggle with anxiety. And then, you know, you wait, you wait, cerebral therapist diagnosing me with anxiety and starting my mental health journey. Wow. I didn't even think that was a great ad, but it had a face in it. So that's like one thing to take away from that. Someone's face is in it, which instantly makes you trust the video more. I mean, this didn't feel like an ad at all. And the other thing they did well is that they created anticipation. So they built up a little bit of hype here by, you know, just rotating the camera. It's like, you know, something is going to happen. So it just makes you wait for it. You can see that reflected in the CTR of this video, which is the click through rate. Most people clicked at the very end. So it shows that a lot of people actually waited for the end. So that was a really effective ad. Now, this one is in the cosmetics niche. It's a glossy air TikTok. So let's see. So they got like a lo-fi song, but I can't play it. It's probably copyrighted. How to cloud paint. You just tap this, whatever, the fluffy clouds. They got a nice little font that they're using here. So, you know, I actually like this ad because it's very branded. And a lot of people say that you need to make native TikTok ads. Like your ads need to look like they were made on TikTok. But this completely goes against that. This is branded in the Glossier brand. So if we take a look at Glossier, we can actually see that that ad really, really is congruent with their website, which I actually think is really cool. And I like when brands do that because then it doesn't really surprise you when, you know, you click the ad and you go to the website. It doesn't surprise you in the way that it looks. It kind of feels familiar already because the ad was branded like the website. So that's something to keep in mind is even though you can make a ton of different ad creatives just on TikTok, if you know a lot about website design and branding, then it's a really good idea to create some ads that look very similar to the branding on your store. So now that we took a look at some of these ads, we can actually go ahead and create some. So I'll show you how you can do that. I'm gonna use an AliExpress product here just for example purposes. And I've said this in many videos, but I really do think using the drop shipping business model to begin your business is a great idea. And why I think that is because it allows you to test ideas, take a minimum viable product and just launch it right away without having to, you know, perfect everything and take, you know, six months to create a brand. You can literally launch a brand in a day by using the drop shipping model. So what that means is that you'll be able to ship your orders directly from your manufacturer without having to order inventory. So, of course, 
there's a lot of downsides to that. But to test out an idea and start getting some sales so that you know there's demand for this product and that you can actually continue to sell it, it's a great idea. And I will say, just because you find a product on AliExpress doesn't mean you need to use AliExpress to ship it. The way that I like to start my dropshipping stores is by finding AliExpress products, but then sending the AliExpress link to my sourcing agent. I use EcomOps for my fulfillment. They do an amazing job. And then they'll go ahead and find the AliExpress products that I want usually for cheaper than AliExpress, and they can add some branding materials to my packages and stuff like that. And then again, just to test out your product, it would be ideal to find it on Amazon and order the product yourself so that you can actually not only see the product and get a feel for it, but also so that you can create your own content with it. But a lot of these AliExpress suppliers actually have some videos on their listings. They're not usually good quality videos, but they're good enough to at the very least launch a product. As you can see, this supplier actually does have a video and let's take a look at it. It's a really, really, you know, normal video, but it does show what the product is all about. The music does not match the vibe of the product at all. But as you can see, these are some good shots that we can use. And I'm actually using a Chrome extension that you can find on Google called AliExpress product images and videos. And this allows you to download these videos. That's the way that I know that you can download AliExpress videos. So try that out. So now that we found a product, we got some video inspiration. You're gonna go to invideo.io and this is where we're gonna create our video ads. Now, the amazing thing about InVideo is first of all, they got some really good templates that you can use for the rest of your social media marketing. And again, if you're doing this for a client, they make it extremely easy as well. The other thing that's really cool is that they have preset sizes. So, so you don't have to guess the dimensions that you're using. We know, for example, that TikTok ads are vertical, so we can click vertical here. And like I said, they have some amazing preset templates that you can check out. And some of these would work extremely well for retargeting ads, for example, like some of these. Let's say you had a brand that focuses on conserving the environment, right? You could use this template right here to talk a little bit about the purpose of your brand or if you have an agency here and you want to you know showcase your clients results but you want to make it like dynamic you can use this template right here so in video just makes it extremely easy to create video ads it's kind of like aliexpress dropshipping in the sense that it's just an amazing way to get started without really having many skills this is a really cool template right here i love this they also have text to video templates so just make sure you browse around and try to find exactly what you're looking for try to have fun with it and use what fits you best we're gonna go with a vertical video here and we're just gonna start it from scratch if i was doing this for my brand i would create all sorts of videos to test out using templates, using text-to-speech. The more things that you test out, the better. And just remember, each thing that you're testing is getting you one step closer to your goal of growing your business. So try to have fun with it. Don't get discouraged if something fails. It's a part of the process and as long as you're failing forward, you're doing a good job. So let's build our scene here. We'll use this video that we downloaded and we'll just use the full video here. We'll stretch it out, let's see. We're gonna turn off the sound of our video cause it's kind of obnoxious. But I like the default song that InVideo has. It's kind of chill. I actually really like the beginning clip. So we're gonna trim this right here. The thing that we can learn from TikTok and whatnot is that fast paced videos work really well. And the first three seconds of your video are literally the most important things that you can possibly have. So we want to make it, you know, splashy, no pun intended. So let's see now. Boom. I really like that beginning clip because it's just like it just squirts the water out right away and it looks really good. And one little trick that you can use is actually making the text pop in like a millisecond after the video starts. So then it kind of pops out. It's similar to the concept of the water just popping out. So let's see how this looks. That was pretty good, but it's actually just a little too late if we do right here. The perfect modern shower head. Boom. So then we can clip that, we can make that just that big. Then we can add this other scene here to the timeline. And again, you can just access all the templates here too. These would be really great for retargeting. So let's see how this is looking so far. The perfect modern shower head. So again, we don't have the best clips here, so we don't really want to make this too long and you know, just want to make it short, sweet to the point. We'll say high water pressure for a soothing feel without hurting your skin. 
Let's see. Oh, and we'll use that little trick again to make the text pop out just like a second after the clip. The perfect modern shower head. High water pressure for a soothing feel without hurting your skin. So NVIDIA also has a ton of stock footage that you can use. So for example, if I look up spa or shower, we can actually find some good clips here to put at the end. So let's use this one. We'll just use the very end, honestly. We don't need the whole thing. And we can add text here as well. Shop now and get a free face roller. So let's look at our finished result here. Perfect modern shower head. High water pressure for a soothing feel without hurting your skin. Shop now and get a free face roller with your order. So the reason why I added that at the end is because I feel like that's a really good way to make your offer just that much better is by giving something free with it. So what we can do is we can then look up a face roller, for example, that could really do well. Something like this, for example, or something like this, that's just a few dollars or like, you know, three dollars and we can add it to the order without really hurting our margin too much, but by adding a ton of value for the customer. So hopefully this video helped you out in some way. If it did, make sure you like it and subscribe for more and lastly make sure you check out in video i'll leave a link in the description for them and thanks to them for sponsoring the video very happy to be helping them out in any way i can and that's about it i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see y'all in my next video peace